Meghan Markle does this when she texts, royal shock. Meghan Markle has a very peculiar way of writing her texts, according to the editor-in-chief of British Vogue who called her the real deal. Meghan Markle has sent emoji-filled texts to Edward Enenful, the editor-in-chief of the British edition of Vogue revealed. The Duchess of Sussex worked shoulder to shoulder with Mr Enenful for more than six months after he took a chance on Meghan and agreed on making her the first guest editor of a September issue of British Vogue. Throughout these months, Mr Enenful confessed there have been many special moments. He wrote in the editor's letter of the magazine's September issue. There have been so many special moments in the process. I will never forget visits to Kensington Palace with my team from Vogue in the last cold days of winter, or our emoji-filled text conversations as spring arrived bringing new life, in this case quite literally, as the Duchess gave birth to her son, Archie, and refocusing all of our minds on the important job at hand. Mr. Annenfull revealed he was first approached by Meghan via email but he left confused as the message bore the simplest moniker, M, standing for Megan. He said, I was spending a few days in the Austrian mountains when a message arrived in my inbox out of the blue. The sender went by the simplest of monikers dash M dash and for a second I was confused, wondering who this mysterious, one-lettered correspondent could possibly be. From that email, Mr. Enningfl said, stemmed an extraordinary few months in the life of this magazine. The editor-in-chief said, when you only know someone by their public persona, all too often you find yourself disappointed by the reality. But, once in a while, someone comes along who exceeds all of your expectations. He continued saying the Duchess of Sussex is the real deal and perfectly fits in the September issue's topic of the magazine, Influential Women and Their Power of Change. He added, let me say this for the Duchess of Sussex, she is the real deal, and an ultimate force for change. Meghan revealed in her guest editor's letter she has been the one who pushed to become the guest editor of the September issue following her first ever meeting with the editor-in-chief. She said, within hours of our meeting's end, we were already texting one another, philosophizing about how to communicate this shared understanding and a lens through which we see the world how to pivot from a perspective of frustration to one of optimism. So I asked the question. Actually, I typed and deleted the question several times until I built up the courage to ask the question in question. Edward. Instead of doing the cover, would you be open to me guest editing your September issue?